Joe in real life. So today I wanted to talk about Mar the Mark Bell YouTube situation. Um, probably if you watch this channel, you at least have some sense of what's going on. But recently YouTube pulled his entire channel um, on a relatively minor infraction, but also maybe it's not that minor. Like, what do I know? You know? Um, and just this morning, they're back. And he had a little podcast with his crew and they talked about it. And what I was struck by was how positive they all were and how grateful. And like, I don't know, it's a take I don't hear very often. Because they weren't angry. They weren't angry at all. They did feel like what happened to them was an overreaction, but they understood it. And they talked about how much they love YouTube and how good YouTube's been to them. And this can feel like some padding to prevent this sort of thing from happening in the future. I kind of doubt it, but that argument could be made, you know? Uh, I think they were sincere and it was an unscripted talk. They were very loose in their communication. Um, it kind of went all over the place, you know? And, but it also felt really natural and really good. And like, I'm just one guy with a dumb haircut. I'm just one creator. You know, I don't have an editor. I don't spend time editing. I don't have any equipment. This is my uh, Pixel that I do all of this on. Um, but, like, I also love YouTube. Like, over the last 500 days, I've created a journal here. And yeah, I say whatever I want. I'm not worried about being demonetized because I'm not making any money. And I'm not worried about getting pulled because in some ways I'm so small that why would they even bother? But in other ways too, like, that's just not something that enters my head. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't have to get any more complicated than that. Like, I'm not trying to censor or skew my content to check any boxes of any kind, not even my own, which um, maybe that's weird. I don't know. But like that opportunity, what it's given me and how I've been able to put this together um, I'm super grateful for that. I really am. Like, I have this 500 day long thing that I'll have access to for the rest of my life. I've, I have a record of this period of my life, my thoughts, my feelings, what I went through. Um, at no cost. You know? And... They, in the 90s, when the internet first started to kind of take hold, the late 90s, this was like the promise of the internet. And in that time, in between that time and now, it became a lot of different things, you know? And it seemed like, oh, we're getting pretty far away from that dream. And like, oh, it, it kind of, there were points where it felt closer than it does today, you know? Or more fulfilling, at least. Um, but like in those early days at the University of Maine computer lab, thinking about this weird technology that we only had just gotten real and decently good access to and thinking about what that might look like in the future. Well, today I'm standing in that prophecy. I'm recording a video of it. And putting it out to you and like you'll see it you'll see it and you might reply and we might have a conversation or you might ignore this one but you'll see another one you know and I think it's amazing I think it's really easy to get cynical about social media and about like um, wokeism say I don't know why my brain went to that but and just like all the ways in which it's chipped at the normative structure of our society 
but we forget the opportunities it provides us. We forget the enormous benefit of like just turning your phone on and making a video and putting it somewhere so you'll never forget. I think that's amazing. Um, it's kind of like a miracle or what passes for a miracle, you know? And it was refreshing to me to see these, these big YouTubers, these big muscle heads um, acknowledge that and, and to like, and to speak with sincerity and true gratitude about a thing that like is a lot more fragile than we think it is, you know? Because of course we take it for granted. Of course, like, it can be pulled out from under us at any time. I mean, Jesus, if there's a sufficiently large sunspot, then our internet's down maybe permanently. I mean, like, that's a little bit sci-fi-y and probably, uh, probably sunspot activity that extreme is unlikely. But like, it's not impossible. You know, what was it? The Carrington event. If, if we got hit with something like that, which I think we got hit with in the early 1800s, it's going black, you know, and maybe not permanently, but certainly for a while. I mean, to rebuild all of that would take a minute. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts for today. This is 95 pounds. I get it up for four. I, and, and, and to follow the trend, I used to have this for 10. So, you know, my heart's a little heavy on that end. But also, I'm happy today. You know, I got my kid. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to go upstairs and make some breakfast. Uh, this is Joe in Real Life. I love you guys. And I'm grateful for you, for real. Be good to each other today. I'm going to strive hard to do the same. I'll talk to you tomorrow.